so one one thing I've been saying recently is that I feel like our our kind, the five fingered ones, as my elders call us, uh, we we have kind of low self esteem as a species right now. I would say we have this sense that everything we touch, we destroy. And and I hear many many different people saying the earth will be fine without us. In fact, she'll be better off if we weren't here. So <clears throat> I guess I can start out a little bit scientifically here. You know, my my daughter um, is just just completed her PhD in traditional land management practices. So in this in in her study, she was talking to me about uh, how scientists have been drilling core samples out of the earth, and you know, and as they the deeper down they go, the farther back in time you go. And so they're looking at uh, fossilized uh, pollen samples and such, so they can tell what's what's been around and you know the layers, what was around at this time and this time, this time, such right. So what they're what they're finding is that you know they might there might be an area that is has a limited number of diversity and then human beings arrive and then and then the diversity kind of explodes not in a not in a in a in a in a, in a harmonious way let's say in a way that's causing all life to thrive and um and so i just found that so amazing to think about that our presence you know literally scientifically proven our presence can be a benefit to the land and in fact in this nation um you know the giant hardwood forests in the southeast and and you know, those were all cultivated so it it kind of one it expands our understanding of agriculture um and two it 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 shows us you know they say that she says that the reason that that hasn't been necessarily known how much cultivation how much cooperation and collaboration between human beings and and the land um, hasn't been so known as as being intentional you know we're, we're depicted as being hunter gatherers just sort of stumbling upon berries here and there you know and that's how we lived that's how we get depicted most of the time but in fact there was this really deep science going on about cultivation um and again i'm going to put it in terms of cooperation and collaboration and so when when that's happening uh um, and things are are thriving. We're we're augmenters, and so I just I just put that out there for us to just feel it in our bodies that this is a possibility, right? This is a possibility, and you know I'll also say that you know in our history books, certainly the history that I was taught when I was in school, even as an indigenous person sitting right there, you know they say when those ships arrived from Europe, doesn't matter where they hit on this continent, um, we uh the the accounts were all the same right they they had stumbled upon an eden they said but the but the interesting thing about it is the implication the way they describe it and even saying eden right eden is undespoiled by human hands uh. right so what's what we're what that's implying is that that there was no human presence here and that's why it looked the way it looked because they're thinking it wouldn't look this way if humans were here because if it, it you know otherwise it would look like where we just came from but no it it there were millions of people inhabiting the continent before those arrivals civilizations had risen and fallen so i just point to this one to to reorient this this sense of human beings as like a uh I don't know, some kind of evolutionary failure or something, you know? I mean, we we really, I mean, of course, we're struggling with it right now. But I but I put it out there to say, no, there there is this capacity. And not only was it, you know, like clean water, clean food, clean soil, et cetera, but but we had social technologies. We had social technologies that allowed us to live side by side with radically different cosmologies, unintelligible languages. In, in in relative health and harmony. I mean, it wasn't perfect. There were wars. There people people got carried away on this continent, as we know. Empires were were attempted in different ways. And um, but but by and large, it wasn't to the point where where we were destroying the entire habitat over it. So um so so what is our what is our role? I want to say that 
all of that story is really to get to this and to say that the grandmothers say, and this always makes me want to cry, the grandmothers say that there is much in the cosmos that depends upon the human heart. There is an element, and this is, and this is the primary part of it for us, is what, re what resides in our heart. Nothing else can contribute that to this creation. And so maybe the earth could get along fine without us. But but the point is, I mean, I don't know. To me, that's sort of an irrelevant argument because here we are, right? Um, but for me, I'm thinking, but but who could the earth be with us? Oh. That's what I'm interested in. <laughs>